Did you know that density of pure water at 39.16 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately one gram per milliliter? Hey everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate the density of an unknown substance. Density is a measure of mass per unit volume of an object. The formula for calculating density is D is equal to M over V. For solids, density is measured in units of grams per cubic centimeter, and for liquids and gas, the units for density are expressed in grams over milliliter. Knowing the density of a substance can be useful in a variety of ways. It can help identifying an unknown substance. It can be useful in determining the purity of a substance and in calculating the mass of a sample. So how do you find the density of an unknown substance? First, you would gather all materials, such as a pan balance or digital scale, a graduated cylinder, and the unknown substance. A digital scale or pan balance can help measure the mass of the sample, while a graduated cylinder can help measure the volume of the sample. If the unknown substance is solid, you can place it on the balance and record its mass in grams. If the substance is a liquid, pour it into a container and measure the total mass of the container on a scale. Then subtract the mass of the container from the total mass of the liquid and the container. Next, use a graduated cylinder to calculate the volume of the sample. If the sample is a solid, multiply its length width and height to find the volume using the formula V is equal to L times W times H. If the sample is an irregular solid, use the water displacement method. Pour some water into graduated cylinder and note its volume. Then place the sample inside the cylinder and notice how much the water level rises. Finally, subtract the new water level from the old water level to find the volume. To calculate the density, use the formula density is equal to mass over volume. So the mass of the sample is 10 grams and the volume is five centimeters cubed. The density would be 10 divided by five is equal to two grams per centimeters cubed. Finally, compare your calculated density to the known densities of common substances to try and identify the known substance. And that's it. By following these steps, you can easily calculate the density of an unknown substance and use information to identify it. Remember to not confuse density and mass. For example, a kilogram of feathers and a kilogram of steel have the same mass, but the feathers have more volume than the block of steel. So a kilogram of steel is denser than a kilogram of feathers. Unlike mass, we need to consider the size or volume for density. That's why less dense objects will float above or rise through more dense substances. Now that we know what density is, how to calculate it, and what makes it different from mass, let's talk about how density is observed in everyday life. For example, we can see density in hot air balloons. In hot air balloons, cold air is denser than hot air. The air inside of the balloon is heated until the total density of the balloon is less than the cold around it. The balloon rises by floating on the cold air surrounding it. In volcanic eruptions, magma inside of the volcano rises to the surface to erupt out of volcano because it is less dense than the rocks around it. We can also see density in ships that float. Even though they have very large mass, this mass is spread over a large surface area. This significantly reduces the ship's mass per unit volume. As a result, the density of the ship is less than the density of water. We can also see density in oil spills. The density of oil is less than the density of water. That's why oil spills flow on water can be easily recovered. And we can also see density in weather phenomena. Dense cold air sinks while less dense hot air rises, resulting in air masses changing direction and temperature. When clouds become dense, precipitation occurs. Let's review what we just learned. Density is a measure of mass per unit volume and is calculated by the formula D is equal to M over V. For solids, the unit of density is expressed as grams over centimeters cubed, and for liquids, the unit is expressed as grams over milliliters. To calculate the density of a known solid, we'd first have to measure its mass using a pan balance or digital scale. If it's a liquid, we would need to use a container. Next, we would measure the volume of the sample. If the sample is a liquid, we can use a graduated cylinder. If it's a solid, we can use the formula V is equal to L times W times H. If the sample is an irregular solid, we can use the water displacement method. We can then calculate the density by dividing the mass of the sample by its volume. Density and mass are closely related but are not the same thing. Hot air balloons, volcanic eruptions, floating ships, oil spills and weather phenomenon are all practical applications of less dense objects floating above or rising through denser substances. 